Welcome back to Lily Clap Story. I'm Fire Nation, and this is Project Zomboid. Boy, welcome back, everybody. So, lately we've been clearing up towards these storage units now that we've finished our big wall around the Gigamart. I think we'll continue in that fashion because there seems to be a lot of good things around here to loot. And then we have these that we found on an annotated map. Looks like there's more hos uh, houses over here. And then that looks like it might be a hospital. Not that we really need this, but it is interesting to see. Five months, nine days, almost on the dot. 6,273 zombies dispatched via weapon. 1,853 via fire. Ah, uh, Lily, you're such a beast. I got it. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's a wrap. Good morning survivors all right before i went to bed last night i processed i keep getting stuck on that garbage can processed all that jewelry that we got broke the hammer that i had and we got another level up in metalworking wow that's that's really good 150 more nails nice <laughs> it's foggy out uh every time i want to go out and do something the fog rolls in hmm yes all right i grabbed some food a backup insurance plan aka molotov because i'm sure there's gonna be a billion zombies out there uh that's the broken one right no that's the broken one no that one is okay I'm getting confused. <laughs> I need to grab a new vehicle because these these are both kind of death traps. I think, yeah, this one's on orange. Which could very quickly go down to red and be my ultimate demise. I don't know if these chocolate covered coffee beans give the same effect as coffee. I doubt they do. Like the uh, energy boost, but... I really should start carrying coffee around with me. Do I have anything else in here? Nah. Okay, that's fine. I do want to start leveling up a sub-weapon class. However... <clears throat> oh, what level of metalworking did we get? Level 4. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a big group that followed me back. Level 4 metalworking just from disassembling jewelry. That's all we've done with it. All right, I always got to look at my map when we get here. Um, where are we? Right there. Yeah, that's right. We got to go right and then left and then right and then left. I do believe to get back onto that street we were on. And also, it's nice because these big fences block the zombies pathing. Because then they don't follow me quite as far. This will take us up near the Lickery Split. Yes, sir. And here's where we did battle. This little pinto bean car is actually pretty decent looking. Alright. Let's have a look at the map real quick. And we are right there. So another right. And then a left. Oh boy. It was really hard to get out of bed today and start recording. Oh my gosh, like I slept in an hour and I woke up to my alarm and then I like just laid there watching videos for a while. Then I fell back asleep and then I woke up like four hours later and I was just like, dang, there is a lot of zombies up here. But yeah, I was just like, uh, so tired. I didn't even realize how tired I was. Oh my God. There's a construction site. Or a construction store. Milk and more? Oh my god. Alright, so I think what we're gonna do... Is this building burnt out? Is this the storage unit? No, that's some... That is some storage place. What we're gonna have to do is burn our way into this place. Whip secondary... I really, ooh, this looks like a good spot. Yeah. I really don't want to start a big fire near where I want to loot. This looks like a storage, a U-store place or something. Ooh, this is a mail, okay. Yeah, we can burn down the mail, the post office if we need. All right, flip around. Toss that out. Takes, for God's sakes, ever to land. 
I suppose we could have just came up this. There we go. I might I might just have to do loops out here. Cause there's not quite enough room in that parking lot. Yeah. I just want to get rid of all these zombies. Restocked on my lead pipes. Ah, it's a pair of scissors. I don't really need them. I only have one Molotov with me, so I need to make sure these zombies catch. There's one down there that's on fire and one up there that's on fire. There we go. Bring her into the crowd. Have a look. Is it spreading? It looks like it is. Yeah, it's spreading. There we go. Alright. Cool. Man, I've had to do so many burns, it's ridiculous. There's so many zombies. What are these stores? Can't even read that. Looks like a taco shop, maybe? There's a vegetable store. And then the good old post office. Some of this is definitely going to get burnt down. Yeah. They're inside of there. On fire. I want to get these guys out. They're on fire too. I want to get as many of these guys out away from that construction place as possible. If I have to, I'll loop back around hopping fences. Yeah, all of these zombies. Okay. Wow. This is ridiculous. I'd never be able to clear this by melee means. Okay, please get over that fence. Yes. Yes, sir, Lily. He's a beast. Wham! Swamp! Alright, let's get out of here. Before we get pinched. Don't need the zombies doing a pincer maneuver. Alright, I'm gonna shut my mouth so I can concentrate. And speed this up for you guys. Be right back. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Woo. So I failed jumping a fence and I got surrounded by zombies. Somehow I tripped and managed to get out of there with just a scratch. Oh my god. But yeah. They got me on the left thigh. I'll slow it down in the, the time lapse for you guys. But Jesus. Jumping fences to escape from zombies is no longer, it is no longer a method that I am willing to use. I gotta have somewhere appropriate to do loops. So we're just gonna leave that to its, uh, <laughs> to its own whatever. <laughs> God, that scared the crap out of me. Um, I didn't think I was gonna get away from that. I really didn't. Let me have a look at the map real quick. Just take a second. So we're like right here. I suppose we could do a big loop around here. However, injured. 
nah, I'm getting out of here. And it's a good thing I left the car running when I left or got out of it because, yeah, that was perfect. I was able to push the zombie away that was near me and hop in and get out of there. We're going to have to be a lot more safe about this. Boy, oh boy, that was crazy. Got off lucky. I have no idea how I managed to get out. Oh, look at all these guys. Oh God, that was an actual tree. The game hates me. The game hates me, oh my God. I thought that was a bush that I could drive through, but nope, it was an actual tree. Oh, the game's taking revenge finally on me. Get out of here, Robbie the Rabbit. All right, I'm going to try and drop my RPMs now because we are approaching our home. Where did all these zombies migrate in from? They're all over here now. I guess they have been following me back. Let's get this gate shut pronto. And you can see we've got a bit of a limp. It's a little bit less now, I feel like. Oh, something was on to me. And we dropped our uh, our weapon, huh? I had a lead pipe on my back, but it's gone now. Yeah, we must have dropped it. Thought I heard something. I know there's this guy. You need to leave, sir. Ah, there you, there you guys are. Get out of here. Get out of here. I barely escaped with my life. I'll take those those jewelries. Oh boy. Hello there, zombies. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing that that fire keeps burning up there. So hopefully the uh, I'll take those painkillers. Yeah, we're gonna need those. Hopefully the construction site doesn't burn down or the construction store. But nope. It's time to go home and relax. Maybe organize some loot and get healed up from this. Oh my good god. All right, let's check how many zombies we... 2,222. Yeah, there were so many up there, it was ridiculous. All right, I'm going to take a bit of a break. Go change my underwear jorts. <laughs> I'll be right back. Good morning, survivors. Oh, boy. What a day yesterday. Let's have some chocolate for Brecky. Check our wound. <clears throat> yeah, we need to remove that. Disinfect it real quick and then put on a sterilized bandage. Nice. Got a couple more bandages. It looks like we've got our mobility back. I also grabbed some alcohol wipes. Oh, cool. It's no longer bleeding. All right. Oh, no, wait. It is. Yeah. Let me just clean that off. We'll get some water. And then it looked like we had a bit of home defense to do. So now that we got our mobility back, I'm going to go out there and clear them out. My God. <laughs> that was crazy. I don't know how we escaped that. I know I just put that on the floor, but it's okay. I've got some more with me if I need them. It is snowing. How cold is it? Uncomfortable wind chill. It's feeling about 10 to 15 degrees colder than it actually is. Okay. Um, we're... I had padded pants. I think they're in here. Also, I need to check. Let's get in the car real quick. Um, what got nailed? Okay, the pants. Looks like everything else is fairly good condition. Yeah, I had some padded pants, so oh, I brought them inside somewhere, didn't I? Oh, no, there they are, right there. Oh, they got less insulation? Hold on here. No, they got way better insulation. Also, my shotgun rounds, I need to bring these inside. You guys can stay. Yeah, so I might collect some thread if I don't have any left from training. Let's see. No, I do not. But there's plenty of zombies out here to collect some thread from. I'll just keep you guys with me while I'm doing this stuff. Because I don't know if I'm going out to fight more zombies again today. Because, yeah, <laughs> no. Um, what was I doing? Oh, 
Right. Eat these. And put this ammo away. Got a good amount of 22 LR, but... I mean... I don't know, it doesn't... Oh, and 45 ACP. I guess I could start using guns now. I mean, Molotovs are nice, and they're fun. However, that was very dangerous. And I knew, going into it, that I was already pretty tired, and I shouldn't. I'm gonna put those in there for now. Let's go out, clear some Zeds, collect some threads. Got all this right here. Perfect. And just do a little tailoring. Uh, dismantle that. Might as well. The crafting menu, as always, is super laggy. There we go. Make sure my gate's closed and there's nothing near me. We'll speed up time. Awesome. I don't usually keep the denim. Also, I'll take this jewelry. 12 thread from that. I'll clean the dirty rags for leveling. Nice. Yeah, Lily's life flashed before my eyes on that one. I thought it was donezo. Oh, we are donezo, man. I'm so glad we managed to escape. Oh, you gotta know when to hold them and when to fold them. And that was definitely a time to fold them. I should have never went up there to do that. I knew I was pushing my luck being this tired. Just getting over being sick. Alright. Tear up your clothing as well. I always like to provide ex some exciting content and videos, you know what I mean? But, like, ultimately... I think you guys would rather Lily stay alive and do some menial stuff rather than going out there risking the biscuit to get clapped in the cheeks. I do not want her going down. How's our wound? Our wound is doing good. At the very least, we will get some first aid skill out of this, which means our healing will be better. And we could do some foraging too. Oh, I forgot I there's keybinds for these. You can use R to craft all. Might be a little less laggy than clicking. I don't really know. It didn't tear up the denim shorts, though. Be taking those. You can have the denim back. Yes, I could use the denim for leveling. However, I just... I just toss it before we take care of her. where I heard, heard some footsteps out here a lot closer than those ones okay look at the snow it's awesome it's actually starting to become winter now well it's been winter but now it feels like winter that was a lot of jewelry I like that I guess I got a little overconfident in my ability to kite zombies in mass amounts. And it nearly cost us my longest survivor <laughs> to date. So, I know better now. Fences are a big no-no. Do not even want to take that chance. Some more 22 LR ammo. Take that. I don't know, maybe we'll pull out the 22 LR and... Do some target practice around base. Try and draw in whatever's here. We do have a pistol suppressor, however, I don't know if it'll go on at 22. Maybe. We do have a 22 pistol. We have that Ruger Mark, whatever. Look at this. This is so cool. I've never seen this before. All the trees are covered in snow and stuff. Oh, I love it. I love it. I wish I could take that shell apart, but I cannot find a propane torch. I think I'm just going to stop trying to seek out storage units and propane torches and just play the game and hope I come across one. More often than not, that seems to be how I find the stuff that I actually need. 
I come across it by accident. When I'm not even trying. Thank you. I mean, we do already have level 4 in metalworking now. Which is nice. Don't need that. Okay. Let's take out the rest of these. And there was another big group by that gas station. If they haven't migrated away yet. It might be better off going into residential areas. There's quite a few near us that we haven't been to. And if we come across a survivor's house, we could really get stocked up on ammo like that. Okay. Yeah, there is a fairly big size group up here. What I'll do... Take some beta blockers. Get these guys out of the way real quick. It's a shame I dropped that brand new lead pipe, but... The fair trade for our survivor's life. Switch to this one. Oh yeah, these things are lovely. Oh, oh, it's usually two hits max with this thing. More often than not, get the one tap. Yeah! That'll make a good amount of thread. Another survival knife. Take that. There's a crawler coming towards me. I remember the days when I had to use you guys to get weapons. That is no longer the case. I was looking through my melee weapon chest and I have 10 metal bars. Another 22 purse. I will take that. Needs a magazine, but I don't think I have one of those yet. Gold ring. Take that. More Louisville maps. We have unlocked the whole map now. Pretty sure. Take all that. And ooh, another SWAT guy. Another thing about burning the zombies down. Nice try. Is you don't get... The ammo from them. Ooh. Yes. Leg pouch, shoulder, elbow, neck armor, tactical boots, SWAT jacket, SWAT vest, knee pads, combat pants, baklava. Got good insulation. I'll take it. And the vest. Heck yeah. That was a good score. And the helmet. You know what? I might actually switch from our uh, face shield. Because I'm sure this combo will look better. Oh, yeah. It still clips a little bit, but that's okay. That looks way better. There's the old Foss oil truck that we ditched up here. It's like walking down memory lane. Good night, zombie. Get the hell out of here. Get. We do need a better vehicle. One that's not quite as torn up. So let's look at some of these. That's a fire axe. That's a fire axe and that zombie. I think I'm going to level up axes next. Yeah, right there. Also, I've, I've wondered what was in this place when I was doing that burn up here. Hello? I guess they were all just focused on the noise he was making. Banging on the door. <laughs> Too occupied to, to realize I was standing right there. Your immediate demise. Ooh, yeah, it's in great condition, too. Bandage is still looking good. Not much else on them. Yeah, if you can't tell, I'm scared to go back up there near that construction store. That was way too many zombies than I know how to deal with. Oh, boy. This is LSU, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
Might be some magazines in here. There's a water cooler. Get some water real quick. Let's see. Uh, we do need the Hunter Magazine 1 and 2. Nothing. Okay. But this does mean we are close to the university and all of its good reading materials. Stay far away from that window. Because there are still a lot of zombies up here. You know what? Where is that axe? Oh my god, this backpack can hold so much stuff. Let's just put this on our back. No time like the present. Yeah. Switch to that bad boy. Get some skill ups in it. I heard something over there. I heard you snarling. All right, we do need to be careful with this though. Is that the main LSU building? Ooh, be a lot closer to it than I thought. Yeah, our skill is not great with the axes. Oh, <laughs> there's nothing more satisfying. Cracking a zombie in the head with a fire axe. It's such an iconic zombie slaying weapon. Okay, I was about to say, I know I heard two of you. What's our axe skill at? It's not even level one and we're doing... Pretty good work with it. The only drawback to it is it is a bladed weapon, so it does damage gear. There's the daily gunshot trying to kill me. As always. Alright. Let's take care of these. I would like to get into this LSU building. <laughs> oh, on the back of the head. All right, they're on to me now. Now I have to take them out. Get out of here. Oh, look at this fire axe. It's all nice and bloody. Plenty of tomato paste. Really break it in. Take those vitamins. Uh, put those back in the bag. Come here, sir. Srap! 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 Did a little circle around him. He didn't know what to do. Man! Can't make any ground because these guys just keep filtering in from over here. Get the hell out of here! Take those. We are in need of more nails. And I have quite a lot of hammers to make nails with. Ready to swing on a zombie. I didn't even see him. I just instinctively pushed the space bar. I did not even see that guy. Nah, 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 nah. Take that key. Annotated map. Read that later. Trying not to make noise here. That's why. Yep. Good night, sir. Come out of there. Yeah, no. Nah. Wearing all black, hiding in the dark. On to you, zombies. There's a hand axe right there. Now, if that isn't a message from the easy gods, I don't know what is. 
Brand new battery. Take that. Nails. Brand new club hammer. Metal sheet. Metal pipe. And torch. Already got. Alright. Ah, I was hoping we would get a... Ah, I was hoping we'd get a, a propane torch in here, but that is not the case. Take that metal bar. It's brand new. Dang. It was looking good for a minute. It was looking real good for a minute. Yeah. Might come back for that metal pipe. See what's in here. Matches, paper clips, magazine wire. Wine we will need for trapping later on. Take those. Alright. And there is more storage units inside of... Uh, or storage closets, rather, inside of the LSU building. Oh, cool, there's a fence there. I appreciate that. The zombies can still walk through and get to me, but... I think this might be our more immediate goal. It's getting into LSU. It's close to home. Get this place cleared out so the zombies quit wandering into our area. And see if we can't get ourselves some trapping books. I think I'm done <laughs> diving headfirst into the million zombie herds for a good while. <laughs> yeah, because nah, I don't want to lose Lily. I really don't. Maybe we'll take the fossil truck home if it'll start. Get out of here, sir. Good night. Armor John. Nice top hat. He must have just turned recently. He looked like a brand new zombie. Brand spanking new zombie. Alright. Don't you screech at me, boy. I mean, gal. Get the hell out of here. And the good news is, starting axes this late on in a run, they'll last a lot, lot longer with our maintenance skill, as high as it is. Good night. You two. Look like that police said had a pistol of some sort. Block 17 with a magazine. Alright. Um, you know what? Put that in our holster for now. More jewelry. Take those. Okay. Yeah, it's starting to get late. Did I leave anything in this? I guess the back is broken. Not really, no. Got no gas. That's fine. Let's check out this. This looks brand new. Just about. Oh yeah. It is brand new. I think I saw some gas in there. The only problem with it is the front left window is gone. But I can always take one. I can always take one from one of these other cars. And install it. Come on. There it is. And it does have gas, baby. Let's go. Let's go home in our brand new salmon colored vehicle. Um, I guess right here. I don't see any obstructions. Oh, and I did want to look at that. Annotated map real quick. We'll see if it's for Louisville Riverside. Okay. I Doubt we'll ever get there. Maybe I'll hang on to it. Anyways I'm gonna get rested up for the night. I'll reconvene with you guys tomorrow. Be right back Alrighty looks like we woke up a bit early today um, We'll put this pistol. I'm just gonna throw it on the ground for now, and I'll come back to it Got some food in the car. 
I just pretty much ditched all of our loot into the vehicle last night, and also I discovered that you cannot... <clears throat> you cannot add leather strips onto the padded pants. So, either we wear them for the insulation, or, uh... We wear these Adidas ones for the protection. I get some water? Yeah. <laughs> I just did that twice. Oh, well. Let's go over and try and get into that LSU building. Do I have... Okay, I do. I have a brand new hammer on me. That's a backup short blunt weapon. Got a hand hatchet and our good old axe right here. And then the metal bars and stuff are either in here or in the... Uh... There's our food in the back of this bad boy. Ooh. Okay, I think our wound is doing good. Hasn't gotten dirty yet today, so looking good on that. But we kind of collected the thread for nothing because I didn't get to... Whoop. Excuse me. I didn't get to button up those padded pants, but I can still use it for leveling tailoring. And I did take a look at these Adidas pants, and they didn't actually get nailed, I guess. Their condition took a hit, but there were no holes in it, so I, I guess, again, tailoring saved my life. <laughs> and I think Mar the martial artist perk might have had something to do with it, too, keeping the zombies off of my back from biting me. I could have swore I just heard another zombie. Is it just... I guess it's just nature sounds, man. Driving me crazy. Alright, I want to get into that LSU building, though. See if we can't get our hands on the trapping magazines. And maybe, just maybe, a pre propane torch that has no earthly business being inside of a university <laughs> never know there were quite quite a few zombies up here so we're gonna have to fend them off oh yeah quite a few I think we should be able to get into this place this isn't the same place is it that I spawned in that one time I don't think it is I'm probably going to stick to my short blunt weaponry for now. Just clear the playing field. There we go. And just to be safe about it, really. I do not need another mishap. Look at all these brightly colored clothes. And then the hipster in the hoodie. Oh, good night, sir. Good night. Get out of here. I do not trust that corner. Good night, ma'am. <laughs> uh, Sarap! Uh, AMT handlebar with no magazine in it. 22 with a box of ammo and a magazine. Take those. Since that's the only ammo the game's gonna give to me. Ooh, there we go. Pair of ordnance with a magazine. I have like two of those. Why is it that... I come to a university building and I start finding all these weapons and ammunition. That's the building. Yeah, that's the building. So what is this? Like a gymnasium or something? Oh god, it starts already, huh? The window breakings. This is the building we spawned in, I'm pretty sure. Oh, maybe not. I think it's this one or that one. 
I think it was that one actually because I remember the street being out on this side. Oh, this is the athletic club. Okay. So this is a whole campus. No wonder the, all the zombies have on track clothes. Okay. So there may be a work van over here that might have a propane torch. Could be. Damn! Steel Jaw McGee with the video game. I'm gonna search these trunks. Yeah, look at that. Magazine we haven't read, some duct tape, first aid kit with some stuff, wine, garbage bag. Take those. Yeah, and yeah. Okay. Take care of you. There's another nightstick. A good old security guard. Get. Get. Manana knock baton. <laughs> I don't know why I say it like that. Duct tape. I think the prospects of finding a uh, propane torch in the trunks is pretty good. Like it's fair. Get in here. Unlock. Uh, empty gas can. Let's see. Empty gas can. Empty bottles. Whoa, look at that thing. That's one of those big old trucks. The uh, army trucks. Definitely taking a look at that thing. I think the last one I had had like a 500 inventory flatbed. Turn you off. I should really be smashing all the passenger windows, but I just can't be asked. Plenty of good vehicles. And I can always swap a window out. There's two of them, and a charger! Five hundred flatbed storage. Okay, that's definitely get marked on the map. Flatbed times two. This one looks a little worse for wear. I can hear you over there, shut up. But it's got, it's got a key I can just take. Okay. Nothing else in it. Yeah. You guys are on the other side of the fence. I don't even know where the engine's at on this thing to inspect it. That's the other side. What's this? Another little side compartment. Is this another little side compartment? No. Oh, right here. Let's take a look at its condition. Yeah. Not the best. It's not bad though. Overall condition 57%. Came for a propane torch and some magazines and found some bad to the A trucks. Oh, 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 yeah, come on. Bring it. Mm. I'm gonna beat your head into the pavement, stupid zombies. Get out of here. How dare you scratch Lily's thigh? Don't you lay a finger on her. Filthy hands. Get. Saw the blood bounce off the wall. <laughs> There's that angry bee noise that they like making. Sounds like a swarm of angry bees attacking you. Rotten singers. Anything in this? No. 
I'm gonna have a look in here. Okay. That's a dorm. I can hear... Yeah. It's gonna say... Good night, sir. <laughs> I woke them up. Yeah, come on out. I can hear a lot of beating on stuff. But I want to be safe when I check this vehicle out. Another spiffo backpack. Nothing in it. Satchel, nothing in it. Oh boy, they're really going ham over there. There's never usually anything in the back of these. Let's go ahead and close that. I wonder if I'll get a key off of this one too. Oh, locked up. Maybe on the other side? Hello, Mr. Mustache. Good night, Mr. Mustache. I also like that challenger. Alright. Let's have a look, Ski. No side compartments? Probably have to break into this thing. Let's check its condition. 54% overall. It's good. Good enough to transport loot, I would say. Good night. Yeah, come on out. Good night. One more in there, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know you're in there. Eh. Uh. Too focused over there. Nope. Whoa, what were you two doing, huh? Varsity jacket and a cheerleader. Okay. Was this his challenger? Or charger? It looks like a challenger. I'm a hot wire this bad boy. We're gonna be king of the trailer park. Got any gas? Nah. No gas. Okay. I will remember that it's here though. Most likely. A lot of zombies on that side. Okay. We might be able to get into this place today. 11.20 a.m. still. Although she didn't get much sleep last night, so I don't want to push my luck. I thought I heard a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and I gotta be careful of that. Oh my god, this place is a death trap. Three floors of windows that zombies can come flying out of. Oh, there goes that window. Can I not see him because of the tree? Yeah, come falling out of there. I want to see it. I want to see it. Come out! Were you scared? Come out of there. Ah. I wanted to see them fly off. Maybe they're blocked by the sign. Good night. You get the hell out of here. Farmer Jane. More painkillers. Comic book. I'm scared to go anywhere near those windows. I 
have them drop behind me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they can get out. I think the sign's blocking them. Yeah, it is. It is blocking them. But not the one up top. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they can't jump out that window. I'm sure if they were able to, they would have done it by now. They're coming out of the main door. One up there. This place is dangerous, man. <laughs> Sit back down, sir. You ain't doing nothing. You come falling out of that window? Huh? I don't know. Maybe they can't get out the third story. Either way, this is a scary place. Alright, nah. Not pushing my luck. <laughs> no. This thing have any gas in it? Sure, one of these vehicles has some gas. I know I saw a few gas cans. There was one in the taxi. No. This car? Yeah, you. Be taking that. And I'll have to come up here and get my vehicle that has the loot in it, but... If I can get one of these out of here now, that would be cool. Then we could really do some logging. 500 storage flatbed. Alright. I'll just go home and get some gas. Get out of here. Done messing with the bee nest. These guys are all going to come out of that. The music. <laughs> I love it. Come on. There we go. The struggle to get this thing through the patches of grass. Oh, the lag. Urgh. Yeah, you like that drift, don't you? Zombies trapped in the fence. Hey. What are you doing near my wall? Huh? Don't you know this is the one wall? To control them all? Huh? Get the hell out of here. Not welcome. Stupid zombies. This is my land. Is that a crowbar? Nah, it was just his arm. Alright. I think that's enough for one video today. I'm gonna take a break and quit while I'm ahead. If you find yourself enjoying the content, leave a like and consider subscribing. You are one click away from joining the Fire Nation army. And today I was one bite away from dying. So, yeah. If you're just tuning into this episode, go on back to episode one of the Louisville Trials. Right now, it's Lily Claps time to shine. Her time in the spotlight. We're doing good. Five months, 11 days, almost 12. 6,454 zombies dispatched via weapon. 2,222 via fire and 24 via car. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day out there, all you beautiful people. Sorry. Oh, my flamingos are all getting covered up by the snow. Aww.